So this is really interesting, the doggy DNA testing kits. We have done the human ones, right? I haven't. You, oh, you yeah, haven't? Yeah. I did it with Ancestry. But this is a thing that is actually accurate for pets? It is. It's not a perfect science, which is the same as for you and I, but it all stems from a database. So these companies have a data of genetic DNA, which basically is the map of what goes on and makes him, him, or you and I, us. Um, and then from there, we can kind of match and compare patterns to see where all that patterning came from which is how we track things backwards. And is it the same thing, a swab test, basically? Is it the same that we would do? It is. His was a swab, which is definitely pain-free, but he didn't enjoy it too much. He um, didn't? Oh, no. Oh. He had his own opinion, but it's a non-painful way to really gain that sample. You can also do blood testing as well. Interesting. Okay, so while a dog may not enjoy it, how long does the process actually last. This was two swabs and literally it was a couple minutes. It was more of him being able to sustain just the tickling. Sure. It goes on in the mouth, which innately their habit is to get rid of that because it feels di you know, different and funny. Yeah. So it's more of just kind of a family moment where right. everyone gets to put their hands on their pet and, you know, gather that sample. But it's fairly quick and easy. And then the testing is only two weeks to three weeks, which okay. is really fast as well. So a quick turnaround. And I understand yeah. why we would want to do this. Uh, I have friends who, who uh, had been adopted and so they didn't know their birth parents, oh, yeah. and so to get a better idea. But when we adopt pets or we find a pet, we don't know exactly what we're getting. So the same sort of answer is the reason why we want to know these questions, plus health benefits, right? For sure. I mean, it's a bit of a mystery, just like when he came from the shelter or if you rescue. But even if you get a puppy and you think, like, I have, like, what we think is maybe a lab cross, she's not. We did the same genetic test for her, too. Um, so it's more of discovering of what's underneath all the fluff and where those genes came from, which helps you map their personality and if they're high energy or if they're low key, maybe like text, but even other inherent traits such as disease issues too. Well, yeah, and I think that's really interesting, the risks associated yeah. with, you know, what their DNA might be. Yes. But also I think the curiosity factor is a big one for a lot of pet owners because you yes. want to know. I'm where sure that's your probably number from. one. Sure. I think from the veterinary angle and the medical preferences, I would love to know more about what makes them them because that helps me as well put my finger even more close to maybe some diseases or risks I should be on on point and worried about, but also I might need to discuss with that family. And especially if it's a puppy, you may not really realize what you're getting into. You might not know <laughs> if it's going to get to be big. A hundred pounds. Yes. Oh, it'll be five pounds a hundred yeah. pounds later. Surprise. Um, but from their personalities can be surprises and quite a handful to manage. So understanding some of the stem of who they are helps you also kind of cope maybe with some of that high energy or some of the tendencies they might need to have their release whether they need a lot of extra socialization or energy outlets too. And Dr. Hennessy, what are we talking price wise for one of these tests for animals? I'd say it's moderate in pricing. It's definitely I'd say in the park park of 80 to 150 for okay. the majority of tests which is reasonable. Now if you have bigger expenses or other medical things sure. I'd advise families spend money on the medical care but the additional information for about 100 bucks on average is really going to supply kind of almost like a crystal ball or a glance into their future, which potentially could strengthen your foundation and your bond with your animal knowing who they are and why they are, but also on my side, understanding maybe where things might change mm -hmm. as they continue to age. Okay. Very interesting. Well, I think we're going to fit in a quick commercial break now, but coming up next, we will make the big reveal of Texas <laughs> DNA results. He's excited, folks. He's just sleepy. We'll be right back. <laughs>